Moving on now, an influential Congolese organization has, that had denounced December's presidential election as fraudulent says it will not call for further protests challenging the result. The CLC coalition of lay Roman Catholic leaders says following the inauguration last week of Felix Shizakedi, it will not back demonstrations opposing him. One of Mr. Shizakedi's rival, Martin Fuyulu, insists the poll was rigged, but local media says he will find it difficult to mobilize support without the backing of the Catholic Church. The CLC was active in calling mass demonstrations against former President Joseph Kabila, who stepped down after 18 years in office. It was the first peaceful transfer of power in the country in nearly 60 years. Cameroonians have condemned the arrest of opposition leader Maurice Camto and the alleged assault by authorities following violent anti-government protests over the weekend. Mr. Camto has been mobilizing dissent against President Paul Bia since losing what he says was a fraudulent election in October. Human Rights Group says the government did not have the right to ban the protests, criticizing the security forces for cracking down on the demonstrators in various cities. They were using water everywhere. A local resident who witnessed the arrest of Cameroonian opposition leader Maurice Camto in Douala is accusing the police of being heavy-handed during the operation. Security forces Mr. Camto was arrested at the house of his friend, Albert Zongan, in Douala on Monday wounded, night after security forces dispersed protesters with live bullets force. over the weekend, wounding six people. Showing bruises on her back, near the Claire Mukwete, who lives near the Zongang home, the said raid. she was beaten by police officers during the arrest. They were using water everywhere. We can't accept that the police who are here to protect people actually came into the neighborhood to choke people with tear gas and beat us. Kanto has been mobilizing dissent against President Paul Bia since losing what he says was a fraudulent election in October. He declared himself winner at the time of the poll and has since challenged Bia's win in the African Union court. Human rights lawyer Alison Com said the government did not have the right to ban protests and criticized the security forces for cracking down on the demonstrators in Douala, Yaoundé and Bafoussam. Nobody not a sous prefet or prefet or himself can ban a manifestation. They have no right to do that. They have to protect people. We have to speak out when we have some, something that doesn't work. And we did it under the law. Believe me, Professor Camto is one of the most respected law lawyer in, in, in the world. And he is doing only what the law permits him to do. Speaking at a briefing broadcast on Cameroon's national television, the Minister of Communication, René Emmanuel Sadi, said Camto had broken the law by calling for protests that had not been authorized by the authorities. At 85 years old, President Bia is the oldest leader in sub-Saharan Africa and most Cameroonians have known only him as president. The October election cemented his place as one of Africa's longest serving leaders, but allegations of ballot stuffing and intimidation looms over his victory. Still ahead on the program. A family member joins us after the break to discuss the life and times of legendary Zimbabwe musician Oliver Mutukutsi. Please stay with us.